Lady Jennifer discovered this little predator caught in an old spider's web and because the web was all over its arms and legs it couldn't move properly so we had to do a little bit of a praying mantis rescue. Still tangled, darling. What do you mean? Well, he, he can't extend his. See, look. See, it's, he's not extending properly because he's got webs stuck on him. See? Oh, yeah. He won't be able to hunt properly. I think spider webs so strong, isn't it? Mm. I just got it. Yeah, he's moving that front leg much better now. There he goes. Oh, his wings are stuck too. I find I can usually hold him by the thorax without hurting them. It's the strongest bit, isn't it? Seems to be. It's like a lizard holding him gentle. Oh, I can see how sticky it is. He's got it on the knee to this side, but it's still functioning. It's functioning, he can groom that later. I find this a very special little mantis because I grew up with lots of, uh, playing with praying mantis all the time. My favourite insect is a praying mantis. But this one's a special one because it's a lot rarer than the big brown ones we often see here in southeastern Australia. But this one's called the Garden Mantis, sometimes referred to as the Australian Green Mantis. And this is an adult. This is as big as they get. They're these tiny little things. And they have, so one of their features are their thorax is quite wide. They're not as long and thin looking as a lot of mantis. They're a little bit stockier looking. And on the inside of their claw, is this blue spot. It's like a navy blue spot and sometimes it has a lighter blue around that. Almost like a little peacock feather inside their, their uh, front claws that they use to catch their prey with. But those claws on these guys, they fold right up and just looks like a leaf. It's a perfect camouflage. So full of character won't keep still, constantly alert. That's what a lot of predators that have to hunt, um, they're quite often like that. They're just very, very active, very alert. So it's much more alert than a lot of the other species you see. Let's try and navigate through the beard. <laughs> He's doing lots and lots of the grooming because he's still bits of old web on him. We got most of the web off. There he is preening again. And they tend to do that anyway just to keep themselves nice and clean. So I've attempted to do some drawings but he won't keep still for me. So I think we'll just have to let this guy go.